Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus. Uh, we are the new year, so first and foremost, I want to wish you all uh, what, uh, uh, a good health and uh, may all your dreams and especially your techie dreams uh, come true. Um, as you can see here in front of me, uh, or in front of the camera uh, actually, I have one of the little toys that I got uh, as, a, as a Christmas present. Um, I asked it myself, but I got it and I'm very happy with it. It's a, a very small thing. Uh, I already opened it and connected it, but I'm going to do a fake unboxing. Um, it's the Combi 2 Zigbee USB gateway. Um, and with this I basically want to transfer all my connected devices and sensors and so on to Zigbee uh, because well, it's, it's a known protocol, I don't have to do too much tinkering myself because I'm starting to get some problems with some of the sensors that I have and um, yeah, so that's the reason why I uh, decided to go for this and I'm planning to well, do much much more with this uh, than, than I uh, have before but let's quickly look what's in the box uh, so we have a little box and there's just the USB stick in it. If I can get it out, it's very well stuck in there. Ugh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought about this. Yeah, I got it. So simple USB stick and of course, there we go. So it's a normal USB plug. Um, and there's a little instruction manual in here, which basically just says um, connect it to your device. Uh, all these types of sensors can be connected. And if you look very carefully, this is a IKEA remote, just like this one over here. That's a bit of spoiler already. Uh, so we have that and then we just need to um, install everything. Um, it's supported by Docker, which is a setup I'm going for. And as you saw in a few videos back, I'm dockerizing everything. So that was uh, one of the pluses when I saw this. Um, and basically all I did was uh, plug this little USB stick in one of my Raspberry Pis. I loaded the Decons Docker on my Raspberry Pi and well, it started working. So it was very, very simple to get this uh, going. Um, I did need to restart my Raspberry for whatever reason because at first it didn't recognize it, but um, well, yeah, that's, uh, that's a small thing. Um, I did uh, already successfully pair one remote, which I, for whatever reason, ah, there we go. Um, so I did already pair this remote, which is also a thread free remote, but just the on off switch. Um, because this stick is right here right now, this won't do anything because nothing is listening, obviously. Um, but the goal is also to reconnect my whole thread free uh, setup so I have lights the light you see over here with uh, the shadow is a thread free light I have two, one in my bedroom two in the living room I have a bunch of remotes and potentially my goal is also to start using the remotes that I have for some other functionalities if that well, if, if I would need those because I can also connect everything via home assistant which is what I like then also the final uh, piece to the puzzle, these uh, Akara or Akara, or I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but these are Xiaomi uh, sensors. This is a water leak sensor. I have a very good reason for buying one of those because I flooded um, our storage uh, room a while back while making water for my aquarium. But um, it's basically, it's also a Zigbee sensor and they should be fully compatible with the Combi. Um, but if I would open it, uh, oh, I had it upside down. <laughs> so this is uh, the sensor. Again, it's a small one. And then if these two pins um, make contact and basically water is, uh, uh, will make these pins connect. And there's also a little book in here. Um, the book will be very useless for me because this is how to set it up with the original Xiaomi gateway, which we don't have. We have this little small stick uh, and I will also connect this with it. Um, so I guess the, the, the rest of the video will just be me exploring uh, Combi and, uh, and Decons and uh, yeah, all the, the magical world of, of Zigbee. Um, most of the things for now will be on my computer or at least will be a screen recording of my screen. I will be showing some small things, for example, how I will be connecting this sensor or how I will be connecting my lights. It's also a bit of trial and error for me, but I would really love to 
um, have my whole house running basically on this one small uh, Zigbee stick. One more thing which I read which will be useful is that apparently the lights, so the IKEA lights and some other um, the powered devices basically are also repeaters of the Zigbee signal which will be very useful in the long run, at least I hope it will be. Um, and I also have some other Akara sensors arriving so throughout the video you will suddenly see some more sensors appear. It will be temperature sensors and humidity sensors. I have them, I just need to pick them up at my parents house because I let everything deliver there what I order. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the fun part of exploring the wondrous worlds of Zigbee and Combi and Deacons and so on. So as promised, um, we have my two uh, temperature and humidity sensors finally arrived. Um, and it's time to well, take a quick look into them on, on what, what they contain and so on. Uh, let me quickly grab a pair of scissors to get the plastic off. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm not sure what the front will be, or the top I should say. Uh, probably this way. Yeah, there we go. So this is the, the little sensor, oh it's very tiny, I was expecting it to be a bit bigger but to be fair I prefer it to be this small, so it has less of a footprint. Um, then we have a little instruction manual which again we probably don't need. And a big box that doesn't contain a single thing. So their packaging could have been a bit more um, ecological because everything that's important is this little thing. Um, let's try connecting it. So again, on uh, my uh, uh, Foscon, I think it's called, so the, the combi tool, um, I'm going to enter search mode um, for a sensor, add new sensor, other and it's active for three minutes so let's quickly walk you over to okay so here we have the uh, dresden stick there's a little button on top of this uh, if it wants to focus there we go so i'm just going to push this the blue light is flashing it stopped flashing and my dashboard says it found something so let's Okay, so the next minute to minute and a half will be just me uh, connecting various devices to the Dresden or uh, uh, Foscon USB uh, gateway. The main idea of, of connecting all these sensors is just to um, put them in pairing mode one way or another. For the Xiaomi sensors, it's usually either the button on top or uh, a small other button on the device. Press it and it will pair. Um, sometimes you need to trigger the device in order to, to have it uh, paired, uh, that's it. Then for the lights, the thread free lights, it's just cycling the power six times, so on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, and then the, the USB or the, the gateway will, will find it. Uh, the remote, again, is just opening them up, um, going to the, the pairing button on the end, the, um, yeah, the thing guys you threw it, you just press the reset button I think five or six times, it will start searching and then you start assigning different buttons and so on. Um, again, everything is done in the, um, in the firmware or the, well, the, the software delivered with the USB drive, so that's very easy. Okay, so this um, trad free smart plug will be the last one that I change over from the standard trad free gateway to my um, Foscon or Dresden Gateway. Um, all I should need to do, uh, my computer is already searching for new lights, is find the little hole here, hold it for five seconds. The light is blinking as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it went out and um, yeah, my computer found something. Okay, so then all that is left for me to do is to give you a quick tour of everything I've connected to my Foscon gateway. Again, we're in the main view here where we have an overview of everything that I've connected. So you can see that I have uh, a couple of devices already. Uh, the sensors here are visible uh, with their respective monitoring states. Uh, I will show it in, in Home Assistant in a, in a bit. All my switches that I have connected, all my lights that I have connected. Then if you go to this view, it's quite simple to check here. Okay, I can turn it on and off. Um, same with my office lights here. I can turn it on and off, uh, change the, the, the temperature and, and so on. Uh, in the bedroom, I have a colored light, so I can also change it there. I have switches linked to toggle certain aspects of my lights. The only thing that I haven't found out to do is how to change the color of the lights, because if I would, for example, this, there's not really a way to do cycle through colors i can call a scene but then the scene is a specific color and yeah it's, i probably will have to do this via home assistant automations of node red um but yeah this this is pretty much it this is what, what the foscon gateway is capable of it took over the the control of my uh, uh trout free gateway which is currently unplugged uh, so i'm not using it anymore and it has the added benefit that i can also control my xiaomi uh, sensors uh, then taking a quick look, <coughs> excuse me, okay, taking a quick look in, in Home Assistant. So for example, this sensor here is, uh, is my Xiaomi sensor. Um, same with the, the humidity one, uh, same with the bedroom temperature and humidity ones. They are the, the Xiaomi sensors. The lights here, uh, if I hold this long enough, are also like, as you can see, it's, it's the Deaconless group. I'm here controlling the whole group because I have two lights in my, my uh, living room. So if I turn this on, uh, you can see that if I look at the camera, we have a light here, but also like above the camera, there's another light, uh, which I can turn off again as well. And it's off again. Um, and then we also have the switches, which, uh, yeah, one of them is connected already. So holding this, uh, yeah. Again, it's, uh, I turned it off real quick during this video as well. Uh, so you, you see here, um, if I turn this on here, then I go back to my Foscon, you will see that this is on. If I turn it off and go back here, you will see that it's off. So everything is working the way I expected it to be. This, um, this little USB, USB gateway is, uh, is very nice. And I'm hoping to get a lot more devices using Zigbee to connect everything and to have just a little bit more control over my house. So that's going to be it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video and the next step in my home automation uh, adventures or uh, my home assistant uh, improvements. And uh, well, I hope to see you guys again in the next one, whenever that may be. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.